Hey everybody, I'm the Fabulous Mr. Fox. Welcome back to Old Play Roulette, where I'm just <laughs> learning that the first and Forsaken Lion, the first of the Death Lords, is statted <laughs> as an enemy you can fight and kill. There was at least two book. of them. So I never statted. Mask of Winters is in the core book. Okay, so uh, none of this is second edition. These yeah. are actually all first edition, and I'm just stupid. I got it into my head Misinformed. that. Yeah. So. Well, I got it. I, I got it into my head that if they said the and whatever exalt type they are, that was second edition. But it, it's not. It's manual of exalted power in second edition. Yes. So I just had my nomenclature incorrect. All right. So uh, apparently, a lot fewer of my first edition books are missing, and I don't seem to own any second edition at all. all hey, right. everybody! I'm a professional reviewer. <laughs> Look at me review. Starting out, I think we should say that the setting stayed. Pretty much the same. They made a few changes. They 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 more they more added to it. They, they made changed it a anything. Bigger. One of the central things that I think changed between Exalted First and Second Edition was the way timing and initiative is done. I think the tick system. I think that was the first tick system I had ever seen. You keep talking. I forgot. I wanted to change my shirt for this, so I'm just gonna go do it. You tell them about Second Edition Exalted real quick. We're so professional. Okay, so instead of a round structure, uh, which we've seen in, if you've played any number of RPGs, 99% of them, everyone gets a turn and then a round is over and a new round begins. Exalted 2nd Edition kind of tried to do away with that. And what they did is they instituted a system where each action, be it an attack, uh, uh, the use of a, of, a, of a charm that constituted an action, um, or an incident, you know, incidental actions and such, Okay. I was praising the sun. Just keep talking. Excellent. Um, constituted a, or had a, was designated a certain number of ticks that it took. I feel like a, if we're if we're looking at Exalted, praising the sun is appropriate. It is tick one. Um, <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to decide if you're talking about a role-playing game or if we're conjugating Latin. It can be all those things and more. <laughs> is that uh, first person plural indicative? Let's see, that's ik, irik, irik, ite. What this created was a situation where a character with a light, small weapon with a low speed value, speed being the number of ticks it required to make an attack Oh my god, it. the Infinite Dagger. <clears throat> I forgot about the Infinite Forget Dagger. It. I'm going to let you talk about the Infinite Dagger. It, what, what this basically did is if you had a speed six weapon and I have a speed three weapon, I'm going twice every for every time you are. Which I thought was actually a really neat system. I that, I believe, is what Fox is talking about with what he calls the Infinite So dagger. there was a combo you could do with the dagger that would take it down to speed one when the game first came out, which right. means you attacked on every single tick. Right. <laughs> and, and, uh, and Exalted, uh, we said Exalted was very lethal. Yeah. Uh, attacks were very lethal. That has not changed. No. Um, so there's uh, it, it was ludicrous. They eroded it almost immediately. But we're going to talk about the errata. Oh my goodness, the errata. Uh, you had some of this stuff in first edition, but it became it seemed to become much more prevalent in second edition. The magic items in Exalted range from traditional magic items where someone slaved over a sword uh, and imbued it with and forged it of a fallen meteorite and, and imbued it with spells and magic and blah 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 and created a magic sword. Six hairs of a demon. Or you know, or whatever uh, quenched it in the know, forged of a dragon. From, yeah, the polished with the chest hair of Thor, whatever. But you also got this thing, the old realm, uh, the, the, the the first age, they would have what I'm going to call Magitech. When all of a sudden the combat became a lot less bleach and a lot more Escaflone for some reason. For some reason. Uh, in the artifacts backgrounds, and I, I, think I, I think I said in the last one that... I can't remember if this one uses that antiquated uh, relic of free bonus points. points. Bonus points, it does. Points. It absolutely does. does it? We hadn't yet come to that the That has not where... changed. We hadn't yet come to the point where we took the rotary off of our phone, so we're still making calls through the Fannie Mae switchboard. So the problem you ended up having is that you could buy the artifact background. Why not spend five points and buy Magitech power armor? Now, obviously, a storyteller is going to need to exercise some control over this, but the cost, what I'm trying to say is the cost-benefit ratio was all out of whack. I started to say they tried to fix this. Some ways they succeeded. They created a document that has been sort of, that was dubbed the Scroll of Errata. Oh yeah. Uh, and the Scroll of Errata was upwards of 200 pages long. The Scroll of Errata thing combined with a number of, there were a number of developers and a lot of these developers, a lot of the people working on the Scroll of Errata, Dawn Project, 
was a uh, an attempt to balance the Dawn cast. The Dawn cast are the warriors of the Solar Exalted. The best. Working on these. No, I'm so. Well, no, I don't agree. The best. I don't agree. The Twilights are the best, but we won't get into that. No one's ever gonna keep Dawn down. The most powerful deity that it, that gives the Solar Exalted their power is the unconquered sun, and the dawn were represented by a full sun. So biggest sun is best sun. <laughs> more sun equals more powerful, Jonathan. And I love the infernal stuff. Like, I actually like the infernal charm sets. I like how they work in a lot of ways, but I feel their origin was kind of cludged together a little bit, and I don't like it. And Exalted 2nd Edition has all this, like, Heroes Unlimited-esque stuff. Like the Dragon Kings. Oh, yeah, yeah, The Dragon Kings are, like, I've heard this perfect Something Heroes else. Unlimited kind of thing. Because they're super cool. But well, they're not Exalted. Example, take a hardware character from Heroes Unlimited. They're super cool, but they will never be strong enough to run next to a mutant with, that has an actual complement of superpowers. Yeah. Um, so it's just like... Uh, it's, it's, I mean, I'll I'm use a more to... mainstream, I might use a more mainstream analogy. The Solars are Superman, the Dragon Kings are Nightwing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's just not a character that, it is a character just bursting, just bursting with cool stories to tell. And this is true of the subsidiary kinds of Exalted, too. And it's like, if you, if like you, you have Solars s- and then something else. <laughs> subsidiary forms of Exalted, it's like putting together a party of these things and you have like one Solar. And every time there's a problem, you know, it's like, help us, the uh, small town of Conchi is being attacked by a rogue god. And then, like, the solar just calls, like, yo, uh, solar to dipshits, I solved the problem. <laughs> you guys want me to bring you some diapers on the way home? It's like, don't worry. <laughs> it's like, don't worry. I'll just solar that problem. Yeah. Because in 3rd th- edition, you can get solar XP. We're going to have, we said to talk about that in the soul. And anyway. We, that has to be talked about in the review. Right? We will. Put that in the review. That um, is so awful. So this is why I don't make puns. I'm terrible at it. No, that was a fine pun. Anyway. It's just, it, it, it wasn't the pun that upset me, it was the cunt. <laughs> it was what solar XP actually okay. is that upset me. So this is the thing. If you are if you are willing to, if you, if you look at the setting, the setting is beautiful. If you look at the setting, second edition is it actually nears nears like a complete way to play this setting and way to play the game the problem is is that you are going to bog yourself down in a bunch of math and rules aggravating nonsense that then has to be cross-referenced and, to 200 pages of errata and it is it is frustrating and unless you are a unless you are a dedicated like deep cover exalted nerd like myself second edition is intimidating I'll still play second edition. And the problem the big problem is it's like it's way still easier. Run. Now it's easier to get second edition. In my opinion, first edition is like first edition you're going to have to deal with a whole bunch of disparate weird rules that don't mess with mesh with each other outrageously well and then you've got about 50 some odd pages of errata you have to reference them to. Right. And then second edition you have all kinds of rules that actually are better put together but are way less interesting and way more wargamey and just don't have the same kind of flavorful feel that the original edition had even when they work better and you have to cross-reference them to like 200 pages of errata. And then third edition has one book that has no comparable antagonists but it has a much better system that actually feels like Exalted even though that system is bogged down with a bunch of stupid we decisions will, that we will be talking about. And, and we will delve into third edition. So, like, let's... That was second. You know, we've, we've covered first, we've covered second. Now we get to talk the about the house made, built on bad faith that is third edition. <laughs> the decision was made to move forward, to scrap the whole thing, and start again and try to make a system, a system that would give us what we wanted, what the Exalted fan base wanted. And next time we'll try and see, next time we'll have the whole crew together. Now let's see if they gave us what we needed and despite what we wanted. Like I said, next time we will delve into third edition, we'll show you where where it seems to think it's going. And where it's slowly, lurchingly, imperceptibly going. (laughs) So I'm 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 bad at these outros. Okay, well until then, I'm the fabulous Mr. Fox. This is Jay Random. This is Old Play Roulette. We release uh, reviews almost as often as Onyx Path releases... uh, exalted books presumably they're <laughs> paying those freelancers i mean no one's paying us yeah so <laughs> so and we're still that's why i said we're, we're uniquely uh qualified to cover it because we release almost as often as they do it's true. <laughs> so we'll catch you next time